Welcome back. It is 1222 in your health watch this afternoon. Exactly how much water do you drink in a day and how much do you really need? Dina Centrofanti has the answers. Wait, mama, be real with me. Did your cup just get even bigger? Yes, Saturday Night Live recently spoofed the popularity of the Stanley. Then there's this viral video showing shoppers fighting over the new Stanley option at Target. No one knows exactly how the more than 100-year-old thermos brand turned into a must-have millennial water holder. But speaking of water, do we need 40 ounces of it on standby at all times? Our requirements for fluid and for hydration and water is based on gender, it's based on activity level or age, and even the environment in which we live. In general, the Institute of Medicine recommends about 100 ounces a day for men and about 70 for women. Registered dietitian Kristen Kirkpatrick says signs you're not drinking enough water can include feeling tired, lightheaded, dizzy, or getting a headache. You may also notice you are not urinating as often, you have dark colored urine, a dry mouth, sugar cravings, or hunger pangs. To stay hydrated, she does suggest carrying a water bottle, yes, like that Stanley, with you at all times. Now, there are other ways to get fluids, like with soup, decaffeinated coffee, herbal tea, and water-rich foods. Lettuces, spinach, melons, um, those are all great examples of foods that give us that hydration as well. So it's not just about having the water and, and downing it. It's also about looking at how our diet can contribute to better hydration. So can you drink too much water? The answer is apparently yes. It can throw off your electrolyte balance. Doctors recommend you be aware of just how much water you drink.